Hey everybody, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video we'll be reviewing everything that was covered in this week's Armor Forger dev blog, this being dev blog number 12. This dev blog had no new updates and was just a short post letting players know more about the future plans the devs have, so without any more delay, let's just get right into this. Starting off, they started by saying they have been hard at work on point nine point six and that they are planning on releasing the first release candidate build soon. Through this build, players will get an early look at the new content coming in this update, and it will allow these players to test the new content before it makes it to the main game. They stated that while the RC build may change often, it will not be identical to the main game, and may contain long-term experimental features and content to allow it to be tested for potential issues. It also allows mod teams and content creators to be prepared for future changes, and stress tests these new updates. So all around, the RC build is going to be good for ensuring a stable future of updates in Reforger's future. But with this, we have some bittersweet news. As of now, there will be no new bi-weekly updates until 0.9.6 update fully releases. So be ready for a couple weeks with no new Reforger updates. They continue by showing off the tutorial that they have made for modders to help with scripting, before giving some minor insight in on the game. Starting off, they address their desire to work on both PvP and PvE aspects of the game, with the want to buff the FIA to being more than just cannon fodder, a change that they say will be accomplished through updates 0.9.6 and 0.9.7, as well as a new scenario that will be releasing with ground support called Combat Ops, which seems like it will be a PvE-centric scenario, which I, for one, am quite excited to hear about. But really, that was all that was covered in this week's dev block. It's a very short one as we enter a yet another content drive for Reforger that will likely be this way until 0.9.6 drops, or if the release candidate build drops. We can only hope that this is sooner rather than later, but we really don't know. Until then though, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.